Hey, guy. <laughs> hey, guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vertical light switch in Minecraft under 60 seconds using nothing more than the items that are in my inventory right now. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because of the YouTube channel CMB Minecraft. Now, CMB Minecraft does a series called 60 Second Redstone, and when I came across this, I thought it would be an interesting idea to go ahead and make my little redstone device in that sort of fashion in under 60 seconds. But, uh... I'm going to be starting my timer from the moment that I place the very first block because I think that's going to be a fair thing to start out with. But I'm going to show you guys how this whole thing works. Now, if I go ahead and I hit the button right here, as you can see, where the black wool was, glowstone pops out. And then I can hit the button again, and then glowstone will retract from the wall, and black wool will replace it. So this is a completely reu reusable light switch that can be used in any map for any reason whatsoever. Now, the reason why I'm adding the whole vertical constraint to it is because if you want to string these all together, there can't be anything in between them redstone-wise. The only thing that's going to be between them is at the very beginning here in terms of the redstone repeater. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started here. But as I'm building, um, because there's such a big time constraint going on here, I am not going to be able to explain anything that I am doing whatsoever. And the reason why is just simply because of the time constraint. I would not have the time to build this if I was explaining a single thing. But how However, at the end of this tutorial, I will be explaining the entire thing to you. So what you want to start out with is start out with your stone and build here, then build here, 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 build one here. This is number three. This is number four. Build out one, two, three, build right here, one, two, and then build right there. Delete this one, delete this one, delete that one, that one, and that one. And now start right here, build out out, and then right here, delete these lower blocks right here. Get your torch out, build right here, right here, right here, right here and right here. Now get your repeaters out, place one here, set it one more tick, and then uh, place one right here, set it one more tick, but place one right here, don't set another tick on it. Get your redstone out, place it there, place it there, 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 and there. Now get your pistons out, set one right there, set one right there, there we go, put your black wall right there, place a stone block right about there, and then go ahead and place another piston, oh no, you don't want to place it yet, you want to place the glowstone, then another piston right there, get rid of that stone, get your button out, place it at the end, and... There we go. We have ourselves a working light switch. I cannot tell you guys how many times it took me to get this recording right, and I'm surprised I, I'm surprised I got it on time, uh, given the fact that I screwed it up at least once. Now, if I hit the button again here, as you can see, uh, the black wool will come out of the wall. And now let me just go ahead and just for the sake of demonstration here, and now that the now that the timer has gone out, and just place like a makeshift wall right here. And as you can see, when I go ahead and I hit the button at the very beginning here. It will switch out the black wool for the glowstone. Now, essentially, the way all of this works, now that I'm, like I said, now that I'm done building, uh, it it works in like the form of a T flip flop. Now, I'm not sure if it's exactly that, but I do believe that it is. Uh, so this is like one side of the flip flop, and this is the other side. These are timed exactly the same. Uh, that's why you needed this one tick because otherwise it would sort of just like interrupt this right here. Like, let me just go ahead and let me set one tick right here. If I were to just hit the button right here. It would just sort of like bounce around and the glowstone would go right back into the wall. It wouldn't work the way that the T flip flop needs to, which is why that these needed to be set another tick more. So yeah, that's essentially the way that it works. Like, I don't really know how to explain it too much beyond that, except for the fact that it just kind of works. Like these torches sort of weirdly affect this, even though I don't think that they're supposed to. But um, yeah, I think like this torch right here affects this one or here, and then this affects this right here because that's just sort of the way that torches work. It just, it doesn't really feel like it should work, but you know what, it does. And that is all that counts, right? So, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done at this point explaining the entire device. If you want to string them together, just go ahead and place the repeater right here and then start, like, put this block, for example, right here and build the entire thing out in that direction, and that'll work. And if you'd like, you don't need to have the button right here. You can use redstone just like this, and then, you know, place a block right here, place a button right here, for example, just to get a better display. And it'll work in that fashion as well. But once again, like I said before, given the time constraint, I couldn't build it like that. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much as much of a hyper tutorial I could make because I've been trying to film this for literally the last hour and a half, but I haven't been able to land it in time. But I do know that I landed it in time uh, on this run because I'm clearly using it in the video. But anyways, um, I hope you all have enjoyed this particular video. Uh, and like I said before, if you want to check out the channel that this was inspired from, be sure to check the link in the description. My name is Avenom, 
and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.